Bosch. Job done. Hang on, this is the start. This is it's the not start. Bosch job done yet. Welcome back to Slaughterhouse Customs. No nonsense tutorials. And today we are showing you how to fit your TTH2 awning to your T4. We've done some pretty cool stuff to this T4, so there's going to be other videos around and about this video that you can have a watch of. But right now we're going to show you how to fit the very nice SHC custom brackets for your awning. Should we have a look? Let's do it. Right, so the audio balls up a little bit here. So you'll have to make do with me doing a bit of a voiceover. Basically, we are fitting the TTH2 today, but these brackets will fit an array of other Tough Trek awnings like the TTA1 and Speedwing, plus a multitude of other ARB awnings. The one difference is if you are fitting a smaller awning than the TTH2 that we are fitting today, you do not need all three brackets. You only need the rear and front brackets. But you guys don't have to worry about this because we will send you the correct amount of brackets in the kit you receive with your awning. Right, I'm done. Let's go. Jason, what are we going to need so, for this build? You're going to need the kit, which we supply. So you've got two brackets with two rubbers and six bolts, washers and riv nuts. And spilt coffee. And spilt coffee, yes. And in addition to that, you're going to need a drill, a variety of drill bits, centre punch, sharpie and a riv nut tool and some sealer. Good. That's about it. Take your SHC bracket. You can tell because it says so. It says so. Right there. Right there roughly locate it on your van. Take the edge lines and you can locate it on the panels here and here so it's not all wonky like that. Just sharpie in your two points up here and this one's slightly slotted. Bang it roughly in the middle there. Get your centre punch and punch in your sharpie marks. Just take the drill. We've got a two mil drill bit in here just for the pilot hole. There we go. So we've got some stepper drill bits just to help with thinner sheet metal. We'll go up to the eight. Mm. Coffee break. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Just check your rib nuts. Fit perfect? Yep. Beauty. So, before we put it on, I want to put some sealer on it, just so water doesn't ingress into the body. Smear on there. Take your nut. Just there you go. Take your rib nut tool and uh, rip it away. I'll tell you what, Jason, this is absolutely riveting. <laughs> so now we're going to take our rubber pad and one of our brackets. And it's essentially you're going to sandwich on there onto the bodywork with the rib nut. So just roughly get one in there. Screw them in a bit. Take your 10 millimeter. That's the first bracket on. Now it's exactly the same procedure for the next one, right? Exactly the same. And with the power of cinema. Now we've done that. Right. Once you put your three or two brackets on, grab your awning. Let's have a look, shall we? You're going to need three bolts, three washers, three nylock nuts per bracket. We're going to slot them in, put them roughly in position, and then we'll slot them into the brackets as we're putting the awning up. Two bolts at the top, one at the bottom, same as this pattern here, upside down triangle or pyramid. Pyramid is a 3D shape, Jason. Whatever. A 2D pyramid, fine. <laughs> a 2D pyramid? Yeah. There's no such thing, Jason. Well, there is now. <laughs> so now you grab a friend and pop it up. Lift. Bit of jiggery pokery and you slot them in. There you go. We have simply just tighten these nuts up just a wee bit. They're all lined up. Now grab your ratchet and a 10 mil socket, and do them up. Bosh, job done. Um, should we go and have a little check out of what it looks like down at the end? Yeah, we can open it up, have a look. We're down the bottom yard and we are going to show you how to put out your H2 awning. Unclip, then unzip. One more swoop. Yeah, I did that. Watch out for that. <laughs> that can happen. Uh, these are the poles for keeping up your awning. <laughs> Don't do that either. <laughs> that can also happen. Do you want to grab the uh, poles and start pulling it out? Pull it out. Pull it up. Ah, I think I'm this awning is so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you the other side of it. Have a look at this. Look at that. These poles are simple enough to use. Oh. <laughs> Did it, did it come out? I'm all over the shop. Untwist and then twist 
to solidify. Long end in the top, short end in the ground. Sorry for calling you a divot. Goodness me, your H2 is up. It is erect. We make that joke every single time without fail. Check this out, it comes all the way around, 270 degree awning. Looks absolutely awesome. These are adjustable, so you can adjust for height. You might wanna make a channel in it. So if rain comes down, you can actually zhuzh it out the way. Zhuzh is the technical zhuzh. term there. Peg it out in these little strappy strap tabs. We're not pegging it out right now because we're on gravel, because if we were on the mud, this wouldn't escape. It would be bad times for everyone involved. And we haven't already tried that. Definitely not. So, <laughs> the cool thing about this, it comes all the way around 270 degrees. You can, oh. Lock it. Yeah. <laughs> Way. Depending on the setup of your camper or van, you know, this doesn't have to be on a, you know, VW camper. It could be on your Land Rover or something. You can open the back up. Maybe you have your kitchen set up in here. Maybe you have a shower. So this creates that really large space to fill up with whatever you deem necessary. What you can also do is get walls, can't you? To go all the way around, it creates massive room around your camper. You can get this from Tough Trek or our store. Yeah, man. Check it out. Link down below and around in the, the bit. Tough Trek's website, our website. We'll see you there if you want one of these or any other awning that Tough Trek do. We do them too. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Really cool. You can get this from... Sorry. Bit of a delay. Uh... <laughs>